welcome to AISD TV News for the week of March 25th. I'm Kayla Jones. The Arlington High School Jazz Band placed third in the 5A division of the UTA Jazz Festival. The judges picked one outstanding brass, woodwind, and rhythm section performer for the entire festival. The brass award went to our very own John Salazar. Kevin Day also got an excellent Silas Award. Amos Elementary celebrated Dr. Seuss's birthday by turning their cafeteria into Whoville, which took a lot of hard work by the parents. The parents also participated in reading to the Amos students all week. Volunteers from Target joined Amos faculty while reading to the students while breakfast was served. It was eggs, but I don't think they were green. Greeting everyone was, of course, the cat in the hat and Sally. Looks like it was a blast. Barnett Junior High celebrated Black History Month with a program called Light Out at the Museum. The band, choir, and history club performed at the program that covered the 8th grade U.S. history curriculum. Every penny counts and Thornton Elementary proved that when they collected for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Pennies for Pasta campaign. In two weeks, they raised $2,600 for children with leukemia. Williams Elementary sixth grade students had a contest to see which homeroom could do the best on the reading and math curriculum assessments they took right before spring break. The homeroom that won got to duct tape their teacher to the wall. Mr. Davison's class won the honor. Ashworth Elementary hosted representatives from the Van Clyburn Foundation Musical Awakenings Program. Buddy Bray and guest artist Kim Torgel presented a program called Musical Conversations, which taught the children that every voice is important. Five Sam Houston students were awarded full ride scholarships to TCU as part of their Community Scholars Program. This program recruits top candidates from urban high minority public high schools and offers more than $3 million in scholarships every year. Recipients were Tammy Dang, pictured here with Sam Houston principal Fernando Benavides. The other recipients are Brianna Brown, Alma Luna, Edith Moreno, and Jose Rocha. Also pictured is IB coordinator Ms. Tumbry, IB English instructor Ms. Helton, TCU advisor Margaret Owegana, and senior college and career counselor Ms. Carter. Last week was open house, and over at Ramenzi Elementary, sixth grade teacher Tanelle Thomas rolled out the red carpet for her students and parents with a Hollywood-themed room. PE teacher Anna Laughlin provided a physical activity by having the Ramenzi students and their parents run through her hard adventure course. Larson Elementary raised $12,162 for the American Heart Association through their annual Jump Rope for Heart campaign. Third through sixth graders, faculty and staff participated in raising the money and the top individual and online winner is Sydney M, who raised $1,075. The top team raised $2,090 and is made up of these sixth grade girls, Haley D, Peyton E, Hannah H, Hannah F, Lily R, and Lauren W. Great effort for a great cause. What's your big idea? That's the question students were asked in the What's Your Big Idea Entrepreneurship Contest. Over 3,500 contest entries were received from 3rd through 7th graders in Arlington ISD. Last Saturday, students, parents, teachers, AISD administration, local and state elected officials assembled at UTA's College Park Center for Arlington's Entrepreneurship Day. The contest semifinalists were recognized and the overall top three winners in each grade level were announced. The event was hosted by Brian Curtis, an NBC5 News anchor. Congratulations to all our winners at this event. And now it's time for sports with Sam Weiger. It's been three weeks since our last sportscast and we have lots of sports to cover. So let's start with soccer. We would like to congratulate Coach Joe Baffa and the Seguin Cougars who won 4th place in District 16-4A. They will play their bi-district playoff game versus Granbury on Tuesday, March 26th at Chisholm Trail High School in Saginaw. The Lady Cougars did make the playoffs finishing with a record of 3 wins, 7 losses and 4 ties. The District 3-5A soccer will wrap up this Tuesday. In girls soccer, the Lady Colts will win district with 12 wins, 1 loss and score of 35 points. They are followed by Martin, Forth, Pascal, Lamar, Weatherford, Bowie, North Crowley, and Sam Houston. Martin Lady Warriors already have their bi-district playoff match set. They will play Keller Timber Creek on Thursday, March 28th at 8 p.m. over at Pennington Field in Bedford. Sam Houston Texans are your district leader in boys 3-5A soccer with 35 points. They are followed by Pascal, Lamar, 
Arlington, Bowie, Martin, North Crowley, and Weatherford. Now turning to softball. In 15-4A, the district standings have Ennis with an undefeated record at 7-0, followed by Legacy, Red Oak, Waxahachie, Lake Ridge, Seguin, Summit, and Lancaster. In 3-5A softball, Weatherford is your district leader, followed closely by Martin, North Crowley, and Bowie. Then Arlington, Lamar, Pascal, and Sam Houston round out the rest of the district standings. In 15-4A baseball, Legacy leads the district, followed by Summit, Waxahachie, Red Oak, Seguin, Ennis, Lake Ridge, and Lancaster. In 3-5A, it's the Martin Warriors sitting on top, followed by Bowie and Weatherford, who are tied with four wins and one loss, Lamar, Arlington, North Crowley, Pascal, and Sam Houston. In wrestling, we had reported how well Sam Houston had done at state, and now we have other results from our other schools. In girls, Tara Jones placed sixth in state in the 95-pound class. Sydney Snuck, also from Arlington, placed fifth in the 138-pound class. Bowie's Giselle Ruvalcalba placed fifth in the 148-pound class. And in the 215-pound class, Jasmine Brown placed fifth in state. Boys placing in state wrestling were Martin High School's Terrell Tatum, who placed third in the 132-pound class. Bowie wrestler Rafay Ali placed second in the 152-pound class. Martin also had two other wrestlers who placed, Elijah Crumpton, who took third in the 170-pound class, and Stephen Canley, who placed fourth in the 182-pound class. And Arlington High's C.J. Stratton placed sixth in the 285-pound class. Congratulations to all of our wrestlers. And that does it for this week. For AISD TV Sports, I'm Sam Weiger, and I will see you in the stand. Thanks, Sam. Here's part three of our Recognizing the Teachers of the Year. Librarian from Arlington High School, Mary Jane O'Halloran, Brain. Steve Brolick from our Newcomer Center. Jennifer Kopetsky from Sam Houston, who was also Kiwanis Teacher of the Year for high schools. Caroline Cooper from Turning Point High School. Mary Catherine Monroe at Venture High School. Teachers of the Year from our junior high schools. Hector Santiago at Bailey. Nancy Rushing from Ferguson Junior High, who was also named the Kiwanis Teacher of the Year for junior high schools. Choir teacher Karen Myers from Gunn. Paula Johnson, the AVID Teacher at Hutchinson Junior High. Another choir teacher, Greg Hagen, who teaches at the Nichols Junior High. At Turning Point Junior High, Jace McCain is their Teacher of the Year. Robert Johns at Workman Junior High. Julie Weinkoop at Young Junior High School. For our elementary schools, Barbara Bryant at Amos. Veronica Hernandez at Anderson Elementary. Art teacher, Jennifer Nahair at Barry, Adam Weiss at Blanton Elementary. Crystal Logan at Bergen Elementary. Shermaine Chaudhry at Crouch, music teacher Annie Yandel at Crow Elementary, and Lauren Parker at Thornton Elementary, who is the Kiwanis Club's Elementary Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to all of our Teachers of the Year. On April 9th, the school district will honor all 74 Teachers of the Year at this dinner. And don't forget that the school district will be closed on Friday for the March holiday. That does it for this week on ASD TV News. For Sam Weiger, I'm Kayla Jones. Thanks for watching and happy Easter!